Hi, Hiram here. Going to do another test on this modified chafing fuel can. What I've done this time, or I should go back, what I did before was I rolled up a strip of carbon felt around a, I think it was half inch copper pipe. Yeah, what am I saying? Half inch copper pipe. I had put some uh, slots in the bottom of it so that I could, if I wrapped it up like so, but with much more carbon, I could pour the alcohol in here to refill the burner and then it would come out through these slots. But what was happening was as the temperature built up in this and heated up the alcohol, I guess this thing was so widely, so tightly wound up on the top that the expanding alcohol was pushing down and then up the tube and making it come out like a volcano. I tried showing that before but it didn't, didn't happen as bad anyway. What I did now is I took this out and I took a piece of the uh, hardware cloth just like I do for the stands, put a piece of carbon felt inside that and I wrapped this around the half inch copper tube to get a plug like so. Okay, And then this, I took the copper pipe out so that now all I have is carbon felt and the hardware cloth and I stuck that in the can to act as the wick. This way there's no closed in areas for the uh, pressure to build up on the inside and make it squirt out. At least that's the plan. I burned it a little bit and I didn't have anything happen so we'll see what happens here. As you can see I have it on a plate to contain the alcohol if it does indeed start coming out. Uh, I don't know if you can see this but I've had people ask me to pull the carbon felt out so in this test it's pulled out about a quarter of an inch from the top of the burner can. I'm going to use the uh, hardware cloth pot stand again because I think this really needs a lot of air. I had said about maybe making this shorter but by pulling the uh, the wicking out, the carbon felt, it actually makes this act like it's shorter. And the thing is with this, you can pull it out with a pair of pliers, you know, lift it up, and then when you're done, you can just push it down and seal off the can. So let me light this. That's a nice thing about wicking. It just lights right up. Okay. I think the discoloration is because of the galvanization on the hardware cloth, I think. Let me put the pot stand on. I have two cups of water setting at 61 degrees and let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 105 degrees. I think you can see on this that the, the flames are pretty well spread out across the bottom of the pot. Uh, the top edge of the pot stand is already getting red hot so it looks pretty good so far. Let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212 and 10 minutes 14 seconds. Pretty cool. And I left the camera running the whole time for this test. Just a cake case. Uh, it did overflow but nothing happened with this one. Let me put this out. I want to get a measurement of the fuel that's used. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Didn't write that down. I'll have to check on the tape, but I think it was 61. Room temperature 59, humidity 47%. Uh, came to a boil in 10 minutes 14 seconds. On the other test, the previous test using the carbon felt with the copper pipe tubing in the middle, Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a boil in 9 minutes 33 seconds. So this is like, what, 44 seconds or so more. Not bad. Uh, I mean, it's a whole different setup in here, so that could change the whole game. I'll just have to see how much alcohol was consumed this time, and I'll put it down here on the bottom. If not here, if I forget, it will be done in the text area. Now when this cools, that's cool already, 
When this cools, you can put the top back on and it's sealed up. This just pushes down in. Next time you want to use it, you pull out the uh, wicking with a pliers or something. Okay, the can's not hot. Now, it looks like the fuel is up to about here. Just guesstimating, looking, I can see it down the center of the wicking, and it looks like it's about that tall. So the can was pretty full, and it didn't overflow. The problem with the copper pipe was, because I didn't drill holes in the side, which I was going to next, when things pressured up, it just pushed the alcohol up from the bottom. This doesn't have anything where it contains, so any kind of vapor can just come right up through the center. Pretty nice. Okay, so I thank you for watching. I hope this helps. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.